a country filled with beauty, nature, fun, history, and good food. What's not to like in Amsterdam? Welcome to Around the World. Today, we'll be looking at the top things to visit when visiting Amsterdam. Are you a fan of our channel? Be sure to subscribe to Around the World and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at the top things to see when visiting Amsterdam. Number 10. Getting around. There are a few options for getting around this, but the best is to rent a bike and join in with the locals. A bike costs on average your 10 per day, with some multi-day rates as low as your 8. Alternatively, getting a travel chip card, which allows you to use all public transportation in the Netherlands and costs your 7.50 per day, is a terrific idea. We also tried Uber, but it wasn't the ideal option due to the one-way systems and severe traffic. Number 9. De Nijnstraat. Amsterdam is one of the most beautiful cities in the world, and getting lost in its streets is one of the most enjoyable activities available. With each turn, there's something new to discover, but here are a few of our favorites. De Nijnstraat is a neighborhood in the center of the city made up of nine modest canal-side streets. It's known as Amsterdam's most attractive little neighborhood, with vintage clothing shops, bakeries, and cafes aplenty. Even if it's simply to take a few pictures, you must visit this location. Number 8. Holland Holland is well known for its street cuisine, especially baked pastries and sweet desserts. Stroopwafels are their staple, and confectionery Lundsgren has the most traditional handcrafted stroopwafels. It's made with two thin layers of dough and filled with caramel syrup, but stroopwafels are treated as an art form at confectionery Lundsgren, and it shows in the finished product. If you don't like caramel, go to Van Staple, which is just a few doors down and has the greatest loaded cookies you'll ever have. They're double chocolate on the surface and white chocolate on the inside, and they're delicious. Many intriguing sites can be found along the canals, from the famed Anne Frank House and the flower market to the more eccentric, such as this cat museum, which is enjoyable to visit, but also a little unsettling. It's decorated with artwork and even personal messages written to the cast members who lived there with whom you were able to contact as you walk about. Number 7. Heineken Experience You should absolutely check out the Heineken Experience if you go there. The tour costs year 18 and lasts approximately 2 hours. You'll also get two tickets to sip ice-cold beers in their bar for that fee, but you'll also get another beer during the tour, so it's a really decent value. You'll learn everything there is to know about the company's history and observe how they make him bottle their special brew. For an extra fee, you may even have your own personalized bottles made. The Heineken Experience is located on the outskirts of one of the city's most fashionable areas. Number 6. De Pape. De Pape is home to a variety of unique cafes, bars, and one-of-a-kind businesses. Albert Kuypart, the Netherlands' largest street market, is also located nearby. More traditional street cuisine, such as the famed miniature Dutch pancakes known as Pofferge, as well as more modern chocolate-coated stroopwafels and savory delicacies, may be found here. They also sell Aperol and souvenirs. Given the market's size and popularity, you'd expect it to be crowded, but there's still plenty of room to roam around and take in the sights. Number 5. Jordan. Another beautiful neighborhood along the canals is Jordan. The historic buildings appear like something out of a storybook, and there's some really wonderful street art around here. It's a terrific spot for taking photos and learning about the culture. Bob Sweets, located in Jordan, was rated the best sweet shop in Amsterdam on TripAdvisor. They hand roll and coat their distinctive bonbons in-store, and they have a wide variety of flavors to choose from. Number 4. Food Hallen. If you are a true foodie, you will enjoy the Food Hallen. This contemporary food market is housed in a former tram depot. There isn't much Dutch food here because it's an international themed restaurant that serves everything from dim sum and sushi to tacos and burgers. It's a terrific spot to bring a group because there's so much to see and do, as well as a couple of decent bars on the premises. The Food Hallen is located in the Food West District and is easily accessible by tram. Number 3. Museum Quarter The museum area in the city center provides something for everyone, from the classics to the contemporary. 
There's a lot to see. It's still worth walking around here for the amazing architecture. This is also where you'll locate the I Amsterdam sign, but good luck getting a clear shot these days because it's always swarming with tourists. Number 2. Vondel Park This is the city's largest park, and it's surprisingly peaceful. If you're searching for a quiet location to unwind, this could be the ideal area to break up your day and get away from the crowds. NDSM is an alternative escape. You can get there by crossing the river with a journal. It used to be a shipyard, but it's now been transformed into a fashionable spot with a large flea market, pubs, and cafes. The entire region has a post-apocalyptic vibe to it, yet being so far from the city center, it is also very peaceful. Number 1. Adam Lookout One of your days should be spent at the Adam Lookout. You can get a fantastic 360-degree view of the city from here, and if you're courageous enough, you can even swing out over the edge of the structure. Even if you are terrified of heights, you must appear and photograph the city as the sun sets. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other videos for great travel destinations and be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified about our latest videos.